go back to more Persona 1. So last time, I basically just backtracked to get some new Personas. But I also show off the Ambrosia room, and I've gotten the two um, two totems that I really wanted, which was the one for Amonra and the one for Michael. So yeah. So we're in the fifth floor now. We're on this room. Okay, so where do I need to go? Um, okay. So what I want to do is I want to go here. This will take us to the sixth floor. We got some new enemies to fight as well. The minion. Oh boy. Uh, it's level 52. See so yeah. Luckily, Rohan safe against it, so that's good. You can also go for Bai. Huh? If I had Odor skills, that'd be nice, but yeah, I don't. Man, yeah, we'll do that. Um, we need to use. I can also use Petra Eyes, I guess, so I'll do that. Um, I can also do regular attack. Uh, I don't have Dark Verdict yet, that'd be great. I guess I'll go for Tara Petra. And we'll use the Machine Gun. <laughs> but yeah, Dominion, I don't like them because they have a Terrible Punch. They look direct. At least I can take out one of them, maybe, with this. And there you go. And some damage. And yeah, we're going to turn on culture. Hopefully, do something. <laughs> yeah, there's Crystal Walls, so I can't use Fire Hunt as a Mega Dueler. Okay, but they didn't switch off my physical attack, so I can shoot. We'll go for. The um, regular attack, we'll go for another regular attack, we'll go for the gun, and we'll go for the machine gun. gun. Hopefully, this is good. Yeah, that's good. And there you go. We took him out, awesome. And we got the end color, which is actually a good weapon for um, Yukino. So, yeah, that's good. Yeah, see there, 3 to 5 hits. Um, decently strong too. Decent stat boost, I like it, so that's good for it. But, so, the thing I wanted to talk about last time, but I decided to save with this episode, um, the dungeon exploration in this game, and how do I feel about it. So, yeah, let me. <laughs> it might be a little difficult though, because yeah, I'm very studying this map. <laughs> Um, that I have. But yeah, I want to go... Here, this is where I want to go. So anyway, so how do I go about the dodge exploration in this game? It's not perfect. Um, it definitely feels very... archaic. But I don't hate it, like I said last time, because it's not like... Super obtuse, especially in um, it doesn't feel super obtuse. Um, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of bad in the stoking class sometimes, but and also the Mikage ruins. But like I said, it doesn't feel so obtuse in um, most of the game, like for some of the Um, so that's why, yeah. That's why I kind of just enjoyed doing it, and also the PSP version improved it because you move a lot faster. The PS1 version would be quite slow. And also dungeons took forever to beat because of that, and also there's no save points, so yeah. It wasn't super fun, but yeah. But yeah, like I said, um, this is how old school uh, Mega Ten games are like. Like, even. Like this, um, the first is this perspective, it was used ever since the very first Megami Tensei, I'm pretty sure, so yeah. It is kind of just, you know, the hallmark of the series, I guess. And... And yeah, <laughs> it's still even used for some other games, more modern games too. Like, Strange Journey uses it, and also, um... Strange Journey uses it, and also, oh, there's a dead one. <laughs> and also, um, uh, this looks like, um, and yeah, the Sonic Q also uses it too, so yeah. But yeah, I can't go for any of my all-hitting attacks, because otherwise I'll be 
a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go with Tara Kotrick then. Mm, why not? And... Yeah, you can. So yeah. So yeah, like I said, it's old school, but yeah... I don't hate it too much, honestly. I'm just wondering why it's not too bad. Yeah, the, some of the dungeons are extremely annoying to explore, but... Um, the, for the vast majority don't feel that way to me, so yeah. Especially in some So, I don't really hate it. But yeah, like I said, the topic came to mind because uh, Soul Hackers 2 just got released, and that game, um, one common complaint I've seen so far is that, um, I don't want to do that. One common complaint I've seen so far is that people really don't like the dungeon exploration. Like, it's bland, and also, um... It's bland, and also... You got the Lone Sword. That's actually a good one, but... I wanna equip this. On Yukino? Well, not Yukino. Eriko. I can take it for Rohan, actually. Because, yeah, it's stronger than the, um... Forever Dagger, and it hits two times, so you can take it. And yeah, that got me thinking about this game too. Like, yeah, this game's definitely not perfect, but, um... But it's, um... But it's dodge exploration, but yeah, I don't hate it so much, so yeah. This is kind of annoying, because of that dude in the middle. So... I might just go for a regular attacker. Um... And then I can go for this. I can go for... Yeah, I can do that as well. Because yeah, I can also go for a nice bike Koha, and then uh, I guess you can also attack. Because yeah, we should be able to kill that Shadow Room Rock. Yeah, like I said, in this game, I can deal with it. Yeah, Modern Persona is definitely a lot better. Persona 5 is peak, um, sort of. Not check scoring in my opinion. So yeah. No questions asked about that because yeah, dungeons are fixed, which I prefer over the randomly generated dungeons you see in um Persona 3 and 4. And the dungeons themselves are actually really fun to explore too, so that also helps. Um but yeah, like I said, this game's definitely like, yeah, it's aged kind of bad in terms of, like, how the exploration feels, but yeah, it's not the worst thing ever, so... Man, yeah, I'm trying to figure out where I want to go. I believe this doesn't lead us anywhere, unless it does. Actually, it does. <laughs> that was helpful. At least to a room, but I think that's all it leads to, but yeah, there could be something here. Um... Yeah, I'll go for the Sundine. I'll go for... Yeah, I'll probably just go for regular attack. It's actually because they've been knocked up a little bit thanks to the new weapon. Yeah, I'll go for Black Koha. Probably like that. And then, yeah, Machine Gun. But yeah, I haven't seen much Persona 2. It does look like an improvement over Persona 1, potentially. Because it's... Like the modern Personas, it's uh, not first person, it's third person. So, it is still 2D, but yeah. It might be more enjoyable to explore, because of that, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see <laughs> until I play it. Like, from what I can tell, it's like this game, actually. Like, for the most part, it's fine, but there's some dungeons that aren't, like, very good at all, so... Maybe because of, like, level and stuff, but you can save anywhere in Persona 2, which definitely helps out a lot, so... So, yeah. Brown gets for some level, that's cool. Over here, we have the Ice Castle Classroom. And a familiar looking person over there. Let's talk, actually, let's talk to our Pymos first. Check out that paint, it's all black, freaky. Maki? Hey, isn't that Maki? Be careful, this could be one of the Queen's traps. Now let's talk to her. Masked girl. 
I'm paying over your future blackness. Do you know why? Why why must you get in my way? How can you withstand the pain? You have each other. Miss Sayako, your family, people you can rely on. But I'm always alone. I can only watch the happiness of others. Wait a sec, are you? You can never understand how I feel. I'll destroy this place. I'll destroy the whole school. And she's gone. Maki, wait. Maki. Yeah, can we check up thing? Uh, doesn't look like it. Yeah, as you see that, she's only playing nothing but blackness. But Maki can't possibly be here. A demon, perhaps? Wow, Maki has some weird fashion sense. You see that mask of hers? It does look kind of weird. Check out that paint. Okay. So what's that all about? I actually have no idea. Well, one, it is a blind book. Kind of. And two... Why would she be her? To tell us that. I actually don't have a clue why. Hey, I can go for the sun, don't know. Um... Because, yeah, I can tell that it's showing off her nihilistic thoughts, which we're very well aware of. Because we placed her back. But, other than that, I don't know why she's here, <laughs> to be honest. Because we can't really know Lucky's deal thanks to some back, so... Anyway. So we do that. See, this place wasn't useless, so that's good. And everyone gets it. So is us because of that. So. Let's see what I got here. Mm. Uh, so we got the, um... That dude, the archer. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot... No, actually, I should get the body up because that can also hit the archer if I want. Um, regular attack? Yeah. And then I can go for the gun as well. On the Dominion. I'll go for maybe a bike or on this. And... I guess maybe the gun as well. Hey, east of the here goes. Some decent damage to that bar So getting into now the um yeah that's what <laughs> but getting into the enemies that you would find in the um the video world now, which is quite scary by the way. Final strike. Yep. <laughs> he still had a decent amount of fun. But yeah, it doesn't kill you for some weird reason. It just leaves you on one. Luckily Ryan is with your armor. Yeah, let's see what else we can find. So we have another way to get back to the pitfall. So I got this encounter. Let's go for the sound time. Let's go for um yeah, Marakia. That's good. I'll go for Magnadine. I'll do well. I'll go for Baikoha. And we'll go for Magrida. So yeah, from what I've seen, Persona 3, it's kind of like, people talk about Tartarus being, like, basically a bait of Mementos. So, yeah, I guess it's just gonna be, like, Mementos. <laughs> For the whole game, it's such a dodgy expression. But, yeah, I could be very wrong, but, yeah, we're gonna have to find out when I play. Persona 4, I seem to have the Persona 4 playthrough, so I know what that's like. Every dungeon's randomly generated, except for some floors that Because, um... Some fools aren't random right because they have like a puzzle on them. Um, and yeah, it doesn't, like I said, it's alright, it gets the job done. Because yeah, I'm pretty sure, I don't know how true this is, but I think Persona 4 was on kind of a lowish budget. Because um, Persona 3 didn't, wasn't super successful. So yeah, Alice didn't have like the biggest budget in all Persona 4, but yeah, they definitely made the most out of it, and the Persona 4 proved quite successful. Not since this was episode 5, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> still... Still had quite the following behind it when, when it came out. Any yeah, episode 5, like I said, I think it's peak... Um... Persona Dungeon Design. The passes are so good. <laughs> no questions asked about that. Because yeah, they're fun to explore, and they're very, um, user-friendly too. It does make the game easier, but if you're having more fun, then yeah, that, that that's definitely gonna lead to a much more fun experience. Here. Come to me. 
because yeah, everything about the Sun F5's dungeon exploration just works. So yeah, this is for me. I can use half full, but yeah, like I said, I'm probably just gonna stick with um Astro. That dot vertex is quite nice. Hey, Rohan and Ellie get the cells. Anyway. So this just leads us to the sixth floor again. If you can tell this place is annoying. <laughs> it's a maze of um multiple stairways and all that. I do have a map, I probably should be using it a lot more. Nah, I am, but anyway. We had the Tengu there, but I'm pretty sure I'm still not high enough level. I'll do a regular attack, sir, I think, because those, um... Suck Visses. I have bike cool half of them, and I can also shoot. So yeah, there you go. But yeah, I would like the Tengu, maybe, for the Amara Fusion, but depending on what happens in the grinding, I might... <laughs> Yeah, so the, depending on how the grinding goes, I'll, I might get Makorodine on um, Armin Ra or something. Um, I do want to grind for the um, Devil's Peak, so yeah, maybe I will do that. We'll see. Depends on how I'm feeling. I can definitely grind for a lot of time, as I kind of should in some back flavors, so yeah. I wasn't sure I did that one. I guess uh, I don't really need to save our speed, to be honest, so yeah. She's doing great. Um, but yeah, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the sub for it. Okay, so. Um, what's that the place I need to go? Um, All I need to do is go down. You have another stair though, but let's see where else. <laughs> like I said, I have no idea where I'm going. I probably should refer to that guy. Because, yeah, I'm not doing that and I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> but anyway, let's see. Do I want a regular attack? No, I don't really want to. So I'm going to go for Magnar. We'll go for Magnadine. We'll go for that nice bike call heart. And I guess I'm going for that regular attack. <laughs> He got a taste of so, so I'm gonna shoot now. I'm gonna go for. I guess some magnet time. I'm gonna go for by Koha again. And there we go. And that is it. But yeah, I do hope that Persona 6. It's um, like Persona 5 in terms of Dutch expiration. Guess how well it worked. But it is the eighth. Which gives us a numerous spell, so that's nice. Seriously, isn't there some cool spell that water strikes the queen? The Ulysses vibe. You cuz I think like a child again, though this time I can see what. <laughs> I wonder for some time now, Rohan. Oh, I wonder for some time now, what do you fight for, Rohan? Oh, I've got here. Ooh, Darwin. Alright. Uh, let's go for Mazandine on them. We'll go for Maragion. We'll go for Magnetine. We'll go for Dark Verdict. And we'll go for Macrima. Here goes! Here goes. <laughs> I think I have an idea of what I'll do. Basically, what I'll do is I'll. Okay, there we go. Um. I'll explore this face a little bit, then I'll probably what I'll do is I will um, probably just head back to the start and then just follow a guide maybe on the next episode. Because yeah, this is yeah. 
one giant maze, so yeah. That does mean I might retread on clusters, but at least then I can show they're poor or not. Because yeah, this is confusing me a lot. Like I said, the ice castle, I heard it being very- heard- yeah, I heard it being mentioned as very infamous, I can definitely see why. <laughs> see, that's- we're back on the sun floor. Yeah, I can do this if I want. Go back to the sun floor. You know, I can probably start following the guide now if I want. Like, by going back to the start. But yeah, this should be the start. Anyway, Dakini. Let's go for Zondine. Let's go for Marakion. Let's go for Magnodine. Let's go for. Yeah, I guess Dark Bird is pretty cool. And we'll go for Magnodine. Dark Bird is pretty strong, so. There you are. Marakion. And there you are. Yeah, this should be you. Yeah. So let me look at my other guide, and I'm going to the room. I was trying to use the map board, but because of how this place looks like, yeah, not fun. Anyway. So we need to go... So this teleports you to... Confusing ma master stairs take you up and down all over the place except floors. Closet for Soma, where I did that. Before you leave the room, and go up the staircase to your east. So let's do that. So now we've done that. Walk north between the next two staircases and go down the east of the stairs. And yeah, I want to go east again. What we got here? Alright, this encounter. Let's go for the gun again. We'll go for a. I guess. I'll just record it back. We'll go for Magnetine on that Lucius. We'll go for Vikoha and we'll go for the machine gun. Let's do it. Here goes. Let me scared that succubus, that's pretty cool. Vikoha. There you go. Yeah, that did well. <laughs> Hopefully this Magnodyne will then kill the Musha, so that'll be cool. There you are. Musha is a drink, by the way, so I can't use that for the more confusion. Anyway. Over here... This should lead to... This room. Is this the right way? I hope it was. Wait, you Belarus and Garamakala. Let me check the levels again. Yeah, that would definitely high level to me. I guess I can, you know, show my levels. We're not... Yeah, we're definitely nowhere now. <laughs> we're like, well, around 47, 48-ish. Hey, Mizondite's great hurt. It's gonna do well. Go for Marakion. We'll go for... Magdalene, I guess. We'll go for... Eh, I guess not, I don't. And... Magriva. This'll do well. It's okay, I wanna go back to the room that the lucky was in. Because apparently it's required, so yeah. Hey, I got something. I think it's a sword. Let me see. No, it's a bow. No, but <laughs> we can't use it. Hey, let me go down the stairs again and read the instructions. Oh yeah, we got the Tengu, I can kill them with the Zandai, no problem, so I'm going to do that. So yeah, let's see. I guess I should mention that too. I don't actually have any plans to get Soul Hackers 2, even though it's an SMP game, and I do like this series a lot. I mentioned to another friend of mine why. Basically, I have plans to get other games too later this year. Those games being... Um, so let's go with here. Can I read those instructions again first? Um, between two staircases, go down the eastern one. Is this going down? That's going up. So it probably wants me to go hit this. Unless it doesn't. <laughs> 
Now this guy's also messing with me. But anyway, I'll just... I mean, I, another thing I can do, I can go for something like Blind Voice. Yeah, why not? Um, I'll go for... Magnara. I'll go for Magnadine. I'll go for... My Koha. And I'll go for a regular turn. I can also use Thunder Kick too if I want. I guess so. How well does this do? Yeah, I should put it. <laughs> I was expecting it too, but there we go. Same, my Koha. But yeah, back to what we were talking about too. So. The games I have plans getting later this year are, well, the ne next generation of Pokemon, Scarlet and Blood, obviously. But if I don't want to get those games for some reason, like if I'm not too interested in them, there's another option. And this one I actually like a lot. Um, that is to get the combination of Cold Steel 2 and Live Life Remake, because that actually equates it's two games, but it actually equates to less than a full price game. So, yeah, that's why I would like to do that. And yeah, the reason for those two games, Cold Steel 2 is a sequel to a game I really like playing this year, which is Cold Steel 1, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. Does this lead to the classroom? I guess I can check that out. Um, But yeah, that's why I want to get Cold Steel 2, and a Live Life Remake, it's a remake of the game I absolutely adore. Like, I don't think Live Life has aged, like, amazingly well, but it's a game that I wish got more recognition, and, well, getting a remake definitely helps with that, so... I actually wanted the Live Life character than Smash, actually, but, yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> but, I'll take a remake over that, so, yeah. And the remake looks really good. A friend of mine was playing it, and it was basically like... Oh, that was so much fun. That com those conversations they're having. Yeah, let's see. Nah, not so So let's see. It's over the... okay. So it's on the 5th floor, definitely, so we need to go down some stairs. This is not the right way. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> like I said, this place <laughs> confuses me a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna go for a regular attack. But yeah, I was having so much fun, like, chatting about the level Life remake good my That was good. I think my ears start playing up. Oh well. <laughs> I think that signals to me that I probably should end the recording soon, but anyway. Um, but yeah, I had so much fun, like, discussing the, um, the flight framing with my friend. I was also helping him out a little bit too with the knowledge I had, because I did play the live um, in 21, 2021. Early 2021 though, so it was a little bit ago, but I did manage to help him out and get him out, so that was great. But yeah, that's why I want to also give it a go myself. I want to see how good of a remake it is from my own eyes, because yeah, I did definitely like it from what I've heard, but yeah, I want to see if playing it, I feel the same way. So yeah, that's why I'm very interested in doing it. Yeah, y'all see what's up, that's cool. So yeah, let's see. So I want to go there. So down the stairs. Want to go back up? Uh, let's go down here. No, that doesn't lead on it. <laughs> Slowly but surely, I'm gonna find my way through this stupid place. But anyway. Go for Bai. Oh, we got the preemptive, which I'm very happy about. Um, I had to go for Magnara. Then I had to go for Magdathine. Then I had to go for Dark Verdict. And then this. So yeah, that's the plan. So also, here's the other reason too why I don't want to get Soul Hackers too. The reason is, is that for SMT, I just want to stick with the Sona, to be honest. 
because yeah, one thing I realized after playing Persona 1 so much this year is that I love Persona. <laughs> it's definitely my favorite SMT series. Like yeah, I know I've only played one other non-Persona game in the series, which was SD5, but I did enjoy that game. Not as much as this one though. <laughs> Weirdly enough. I'll probably have to save that for my very final thoughts. But yeah, no, this game just is so much fun. And not just because... Like, yeah, I do think that the S&T fights the better game of all, but in terms of, like, everything combined, this game is better in my opinion. Especially because, yeah, it has a better story too, that helps out a lot. <laughs> Anyway, so back on the sixth floor. This is probably where I need to go. But yeah, now that's where the classroom was. Because, yeah, like I said, that event with the marquee I showed earlier, that's required, I'm pretty sure. According to what the guide's telling me, so yeah. But yeah, I wonder what. <laughs> Now I'm wondering, because yeah, I know that the two people that watched us are familiar with the same frame for. I wonder if the I know there's dungeons around each other, but I wonder if anyone got lost in them. <laughs> or at least like I don't know, something like that. Like I don't know if it's possible to get lost around each other in dungeon. I feel like maybe not, but I could be surprised. Anyway, we need to go with that. We need to go back to the northeastern fire stairs and take it up two flights. After we get back. Actually wait. North east. So does that mean we need to go this way? No, that's just that. I think it refers to back to the um when we go back up, then we go northeast. That's probably what it wants you to do. But anyway, um Go for ice now. Nah, I'm just gonna shoot. Because of those annoying suck pusses in the back. I'm gonna focus on my books. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we did quite well done. <laughs> Unfortunately, that didn't work out. Once. But that did. <laughs> there we go. Now I can, um. Now we're gonna see his record skills against him. To try and get more persona rank because I would like more persona rank. <laughs> it would be nice. Even though Erica's not getting any persona rank anymore with a persona, but you know. Can't have it all perfect in this sort, I guess. And there we go, we got Tinker. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I wanna go back to the same floor. So yeah, now we need to go the northeastern flyer stairs, taking up two flights. So yeah, it should be that one. Yeah, so we need to take out two flights. So now we're on the eighth floor. Um, we can go into the classroom and get the numerous spell, which I've already did. Now go back to the initial mass of stairs and take the northwestern stairs. Alright. So now we just go the opposite way. Alright, alright. So, um, yeah, again, I can go for like either Marin Current or Blind Voice. I guess I'd try Marin Current. Uh, we'll go for. I can't really do that. Again, so yeah, we're just gonna go for Magmara, Magdodine, Baikoha on that succubus, and a Thunder Kick, I guess. Just so we don't heal that shadow in the middle. Hey, here's a Marit card. And it worked very nice. Because their charm is very annoying, so yeah. There you go. Magmara. It's also ranked, I guess, for um. Um, well, yeah, that happened. 
<laughs> it's ranked for um, birth rank, I think. So, yeah, I'm just gonna regular attack it. But yeah, we've got the mood on on Eriko, and because she's a light persona, yeah, you can already guess what happened. May I have just this? And there you go. And we can bring back Eriko with a nice heal. She also leveled up on that, alright. <laughs> I changed sheep full skills. Alright. Uh, so yeah, I wanna go back to yeah here. Like so. Now I take the northwest. Um Take the path all the way to the north, ignoring the first place stairs to the second set. Alright. We're gonna make progress. <laughs> So yeah, this is an easy Mazan time. Let's do it. Now we can also try getting some right? Yeah, I don't really like this place. I'm, I'm gonna say it right now. This place is confusing as all hell. Um, Dark Vedic's also nice, I'm gonna go for it. Because of yeah, that range, and then my green. But yeah, it's not gonna matter because Ren's gonna lose. <laughs> because that's how he does things around here. And we got them so right. Which probably means I'm like 50, yeah, I'm 55, so if I really want to, I can use Armadi. But I need a fuse Armadi. And sick of her, she's in this too, so that's funny. Hey, I need to go here. We're gonna make progress. <laughs> like I said, hey, man. We're gonna shoot. Um, we'll do it like this. The whip's not very good, but hey, it um, has yeah, some range. That's better race on the handguns. So yeah. That was good. I do like the thing. Uh, there is a better weapon, but you need to return um Bukalinda. I would like to shoot that weapon. It seems really good on paper, so I guess it'll be it might be fun for it. Anyway, got run away and well, but I wasn't fine to anyone. I could probably just auto act here. So we're here now. Um, in the new hallway, follow the path to east and not north on this side to take the stairs to the east going up, not down. Um, what do we do? Again, <laughs> what I just said there. In the new hallway, follow the path to the east, not north. So once we go. This way. And then go down the. Does it want me to do this? So take the path away to the. Um, follow the path to the east, not north on this level. To take the stairs to the east going up. Okay, good. Now we just go this way. There's some more stairs, and I can tell what to do that. Alright, this encounter that I don't like. Let's go for. Goodbye, ha. Huh? We're gonna go for a Magnara. We're gonna go for Magdine. We're gonna go for a Dark Verdict. And we're gonna go for a. I guess a Griever. Let's hope this works. There you go. And Dark Verdict should kill that Dominion. So yeah. There you are. Leave it to me. A Griever. And he comes up. But he must. Nice. <laughs> so now we've done that. On this side, take the stairs to east going up, not down. So let's do that. We have another room. In here we have a lone sword, but I already had one, so yeah, <laughs> not two. Nice. Why is this place so huge? Does it actually add. Hopefully we'll find out soon. I've always been bad at stuff like mazes and fun houses. God, this like sucks. There's no turning back now. That Night Queen is called the Frozen Skull and Ice Castle. And yeah, it's a castle, right? Going for is a real thing. I think I'll end the episode here because I'm getting a little bit fed up. <laughs> but at least I know a little bit of where I need to go now. Which is alright.
Um, but yeah, we're gonna try... <laughs> next time I'm gonna try exploring more of this stupid maze. Hopefully we can actually, you know... Maybe make it out of it? Hopefully. That would be nice. I also want to check my levels here, because we have been leveling up a decent amount. So we're at 55-55. Yukino is 47-48. Um, Yasi is 46-47. Ellie is 46-47. And then Brown's 45-46. Alright. That means you can use Morgan, I'm pretty sure, but unfortunately, if I want to use Morgan, I need a backtrack, but... Who knows? Maybe I'll think about doing that. I also need to recruit a certain enemy. Some kind of trait. Like maybe from Baba, for example. Or Kiyohime. And I'll be able to fuse a nice Morgan. But yeah, I don't know if I want to do that or not. It would be nice, because I want to return Morgan for the Lance. That's a big dilemma though, but yeah. We're already kind of in the thick of this maze, so yeah, we may just want to, you know, get out of it, and then we can think about maybe fusing. So yeah. Anyway, so yeah. Like I said, next time we go explore more of this ice castle maze, and yeah, hopefully we can s maybe see a light at the end of the tunnel, so I'll see you guys again for that.